Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to do a building video of Black Sight Studios, Black Sight Studios headquarters. So let's get started. I think it might have been for their Black Friday sale. I can't remember. And uh, I got this, Black Sight Studios headquarters. Black Sight Studios very recently moved into a new location. They did some videos showing the location and things about their move. I think it was kind of clever that they decided to make a model of their building. I kind of like that homage to themselves. Uh, it would be kind of fun to build this and fill it up with laser printers and things. The uh, real reason I bought it is I think this is actually a very useful model. Uh, it is basically just a large uh, semi-industrial, like what you'd find in an industrial park. I don't know if this is true world round, but in the United States this has become a very, very common type of architecture for certain businesses. Um, years ago, just uh, almost 40 years ago, I worked for a company that roasted coffee in a building very much like this, but they're often used as warehouses. They're sometimes used for production. We had a glass blower here in the city for years ago when I first moved here who did business in a building very much like this. These are very usable types of architecture for much of the later 20th and early 21st century. So I thought this would be very useful in any game set in that period. It's also a very large model. It says, uh, I don't know if it gives the dimensions on it. Office section is 10 by 12, and the warehouse section is also 10 by 12. So 10 by 24 inches, two feet long. It's also been built, I understand, to be uh, ad adjustable and modular. Uh, you'll mention, notice I mentioned office and warehouse section. You can, you can increase it and add them and put them together. I don't know yet, having not built the model, whether or not once you construct it, you're stuck to a certain situation or layout or not. Enough of me going on about the basic kit. Let's go to the building table. The first thing we're going to start with is, of course, opening this package. And then we're going to wash all the pre-painted MDF. This is a uh, recommendation that Black Sight Studio makes. And it's not a bad one because the MDF and cardstock gets covered with soot from the uh, laser cutting process and that stuff gets all over your hands while you're building the structures and then therefore gets all over some of the lighter colored uh, parts of the model as well. I've done the cleaning off process. All that really consists of is, uh, they. I think they used, say to use cloth, I use paper towels because I go through a ton of them. It's almost always, that's almost a sheet per one of these boards. And they get filthy and you're just spreading around dirt if you don't just keep replacing them. Uh, I want to say before I go on, this is one of the best thought out packed kits I've ever seen. I don't have an example in front of me right here, but often there were cutouts in the large sheets of the MDF to make room for small sheets of MDF in those pockets, just to reduce, no doubt, the thickness of the package. And I'm really impressed with how much thought uh, went into that. Let's get started.
is the finished product. Black Sight Studios headquarters. I may put duct tape to hold these roof pieces together. There's nothing that really holds the roof on right now. So I may work on that. There's a man, uh, this is a uh, cobblestone, I think. Might be pulp, a miniatures, Bob Merch figure, I don't know. But I think it's a cobblestone gangster. Um, so doors, good, good height for 28 millimeter fellow. Really tall, really tall building. Um, very big, it's uh, uh, 10 by 24, I think, or maybe it's 20 by 12. I, I think it's probably 20 by 12. The uh, roof, of course, as I was sort of alluding to, comes off. Um, and they, the duct tape I was talking about, and they put duct tape in to make a joint of these. There, it consists of two portions, the um, warehouse portion and the offices. This is the warehouse portion. Um, the, uh, it comes with op optional walls, so you can roll it off, like placing that in there to build just a warehouse or to separate it from the other one. Um, also, the uh, door slides open and out, um, so some, act some room for ability there. Like anything by Black Sight, all of the doors function. Um, there's two doors facing this into the warehouse, there's two doors on the exterior, and there is a whole series of rooms inside. A uh, very useful model. I think this will be a great addition for a number of 20, late 20th and uh, 21st century games. Um, I see a lot of function for this. Um, it would work for games that don't look back. It would work for Black, uh, for Spectra or Battle Space or um, any of those sort of modern or ultra modern combat games set in a uh, urban area. I also assembled the uh, industrial foot crossing bridge by them. That's it. It's a good model. I think it'll provide a lot of use. I don't know where I'm going to store it. <laughs> it does take up a bit of table space. Thank you for watching. If you've uh, enjoyed the video, I hope you'll hit like. If you'd like to receive further notifications for videos like this that may help you determine how to better spend your money or time in your tabletop wargaming hobby, then I hope you'll uh, hit like and subscribe and ring our notification bell. Till next time, cheers.